It's Bourbonite, and it is an uncorking. Hello, we are at Packed House here. Hi, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And at, returning again, I'm Matt. Is Seton. We don't let him use his first name. No. Well, who's Matt? <laughs> yeah, who's Matt? I, someday. This is Seton. Yeah. This is Seton. Hi. And uh, Seton is visiting uh, us out of state, staying with me. We did a bourbon night the other night. We did. We did an uncorking the other night. We you did. did it without me? Oh, yeah. <sighs> Sorry. You weren't here. You. All right, all right. Apparently doing Anyways, something else. Whatever. <laughs> This episode's falling apart. That's why we don't do three people. No, I'm kidding, we're fine. Uh, and actually, we have something really neat for everyone, for us, because this is gonna be our first time uncorking it. This is a 375 of Buffalo Trace. It's a single barrel, and it commemorates the one millionth uh, visitor at the Buffalo Trace gift shop there on the, at the distillery. So this is a single barrel. This guy was from Lexington, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, and he was the one millionth visitor, and there is a single barrel now because of that. Yeah, so thanks for being the thanks, millionth thanks, visitor. Thanks, we have the name? The no. name of the individual? No, we don't. We don't. We don't have We that. don't have his name. Thanks. But so what are we doing? For that. <laughs> giving, him, giving this person a name. James. Sure. sure. Thanks, James. Thanks, James. Thanks, James. Um, Google it. Come on. Like we said before, we can't do everything for you guys. Come on. Just Google it. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try this single barrel against the regular, just off the shelf um, concoction of Buffalo Trace, which is which is a blend of you know seven, eight, could be even up to nine year old bourbon. Hmm. Um, so yeah, you go ahead and start doing that, Sarah. See how it stands up. And, um, Next one. And you just sit there. I'm gonna sit you here. You sit here. You just be good. So let's Show do um, this on the right. Okay. And regular Buffalo Trace on Sounds the right. Sounds good. Well, cramp. Just a little. All right, so let's go left to right. Let's, um, so the left, again, is the single barrel. No. No. The left is this. That's right. <laughs> okay. The wow. left is regular on-the-shelf Buffalo Trace. The left, so we're, we're now going to take a sniff of the regular, run-of-the-mill, on-the-shelf. The left, right? Yes, okay. correct. Be trace. <laughs> the left, right? What a jerk. <laughs> what? Don't call our guests jerks. Or do I don't care, it's fine. It smells like Buffalo Trace, right? Yeah. I smell a trace of Buffalo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just a hint. Yeah, just a hint. It's that normal vanilla caramel. Yeah, that's exactly right. Now before we taste it, let's take a sniff of this. Single okay. barrel. On your right. Oh that's diff that's very that's different. Very different. Yeah. Lots of spices. Fruit, fruity. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. A little fruitier. Mm -hmm. fruitier. Certainly more complex. Yeah. All right. Well. Which? Now, which one do you want to taste first? I actually want to taste the single barrel first. Okay, let's do that. Okay. The right. Single barrel. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Hmm. It's really smooth. Very smooth. Not a lot of burn, but I don't know that I like the flavor of the aftertaste. It's like, yeah, I, I I'm okay. I'm okay with it. coming back. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm okay mm -hmm. with it. I, I think it's uh, it's a little dry of a finish. It's kind of dry. It's a little dry. A little bit, but yeah, no real, no real burn, like she said. I'm trying to put my finger on what it tastes like at first, like a candied something, something. <clears throat> I almost feel like it has like a little bit of like a licorice aftertaste, and I'm, well, maybe that's why I don't like it because I don't like licorice. Well, I can see the licorice, like yeah. the black licorice. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Slight. Yeah. I would well, say I it's hate a... it, so I'm gonna pick it up out of whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I would say it's an overpowering licorice no. flavor, but it's there. Mm. Dr dried fruit. On the front. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's really smooth, but particularly I'm not a fan of those flavors, personally. It's good. To the regular old tried and true Bee Trace. Completely different. Wow. So different. Yeah. This definitely tastes more candy-like. Yeah. Of it because of its sweetness. And it doesn't, the tr finish isn't dry like this one. Correct. Right. 
Yeah, it's not really drying. I'll finish. Sweeter? Um, I think, I don't, I think the sweetness on the front of this one is more than, than the regular. I think it's overall, it's, it's overall, overall sweeter, overall like sweeter. through the whole, yeah, yeah. through the mm -hmm. whole tasting experience, yeah. yes, it's sweeter. A little bit more of a burn. <sighs> a little bit. Yep. But I'm gonna have to say I prefer, we'll have to go back through, but I think I prefer this one. Hmm. Oh gosh, now I don't know. They're different, but they're probably about on the same, <clears throat> Really? I, you know, I only like the original better because I don't like the aftertaste on the single barrel. I like everything else about it pretty much except for the aftertaste. Right. So that is why this is my winner. I think the original has <clears throat> a little bit more personality. Mm -hmm. I kind of like the fact that there's more of a burn there. Um, and just the overall uh, approachability in the regular Buffalo Trace, I think is why I'm going to pick it over the single barrel. What do you think? I concur. You concur? With everything that's just been said. Wow, Perfect. okay, so don't have any original thoughts. <laughs> I've got nothing to add to this. Oh, <laughs> outside of, like, I felt like this guy right here was trying to do too many things. Mm-hmm. He's not pointing at me. <laughs> this he guy right here. This guy. Things. So many things at once. Try this guy. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. I really uh, felt like this is a winner. Solid taste. But it was fun. I mean, I'm yeah, glad we got it because it's nice to do yeah. those against each other. I mean, how often do you come across a little absolutely millionth visitor single absolutely. barrel out there? So. Thank you, James. Yeah, thanks, whoever you are. <laughs> yeah, we got this in the in the gift shop. I don't know if I mentioned that. They were limit one per person. Yeah, fifteen dollars, but it's a three seven five. Yeah. As you can see, cute little bottle. Mm -hmm. I think this is a liter, is it not? Yeah. Yeah, I think the novelty of the whole thing. Right. That's, that's what, what makes it special. Yeah, yeah. That's what makes it so cool. Oh, but it was no. 15 bucks. Sorry, Cheap, this, is, this is a fifth. It's just in comparison. Right? Like it's, just a, little, it's just a little guy. It's just a baby. Just a guy. A little guy. All right. All right. Well, that's cool. Uh, I guess good news because not everyone's going to be able to go out and get one of these guys, but they can go out and get one of these. So good news. Keep drinking Buffalo Trace. It's a great product. Yep. Thanks, Seton, for sitting in again. Thank you for having me. On this, you. your second uncorking. Thank you. And thank, thank you, Sarah, you. as always. You're welcome. Anytime. And yes. <laughs> How about later? Okay. All right, cool. All right, and until next time, drink more bourbon. It's bourbon night, and <laughs> it is your face. He made me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> It's bourbon night, and it is an uncorking, and wow. I'm One sorry. One more time. He made me laugh. One more. Was it the baby's dog part? Uh-huh. Yep. Bourbon. Here we go. <laughs> 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 it's... <laughs>